All right, what's up, gamers? We're back in Infernax land, and I really hey need yo. to charge my phone. <laughs> huh? I have to charge my phone. It's at 16%. Oh. There we go. All good. I'll open up my Twitch. All right. Yeah, uh, I guess onward to Katsuki. Yep. I didn't do a... I didn't do a funny greeting or anything, but, uh, I just got, I just got, um, over a sickness that I had for the past few days. I think it was, like, the, um, the flu or something. I don't know what it would be called at this time of year. <laughs> but, uh, I recovered pretty quickly, surprisingly. Like, That's you, good. usually when I get sick, it's for, like, half a week, but this time it was only, like, two or three days. And, um, I've mostly just been working on my ROM hack. <laughs> How's that going? Uh, well, remember when I last showed you I was, uh, working on Chapter 2 Paper Mario? Now yeah. I'm, like, half done Chapter 3. <laughs> nice. Although the problem is, uh, I'm kind of, like, bad at coding. Oh, that's, uh, I don't remember seeing that last time. <laughs> Oh, we're just getting our stuff upgraded, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be a me rambling for the first, like, 20 minutes, probably. But, um... Yeah, it shouldn't be that long until we get to the next dungeon or start doing quests again. Yeah, we're kind of doing, like, the, the you know, warm-up stuff. But, um... So the thing with Paper Mario is... The game has a, um... 127 HP limit. Is this new dialogue? Yeah, it is. It's the guy talking about the Paimon thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, my lord. I know the evil you speak of. To be destroyed for good, it must be resurrected in its true form. You must stand in front of what is left and speak these words. Sere, Sere, Hector, is said Mala on in, in, in Nimic. I probably mispronounced that. <laughs> Uh, wanna go fight Paimon again, or...? Yeah, sure, why not. Bro, okay. Bro's speaking Latin for a second. <laughs> I think that's what it was, anyway. So, yeah, um... Paper Mario, like a lot of old games, have a uh, HP limit of 127, which is, like, the highest number you can go in Hex, I believe, at least with two digits. So if you go above 127, um, things start to get a little shitty, <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> and I, fa I But I found a patch that's supposed to make the limit go from 127 to 255. Also, what's this? <laughs> yeah, this is what's left of Paimon. Oh, he gone. Are we ready to fight Paimon once more? Yes. We are prepared. Let us end this. Now is the time for your final destruction. Arise, Paimon. Face us. Directus say Malam Inimicus. Yeah, prepare yourself. This one's a good bit harder than the first fight. Oh, good, because I haven't had enough challenge, really. Oh, we got a cool ass battleground, too. Although he's a spider now. Yeah, cause that's one way to make it harder. I gotta, like, really yeah. time my knives. I can still hit his weak point from down here. <laughs> oh yeah, my uh, my little servitor is actually <laughs> is actually hitting him. Oh, those are like cocoons. I remember this being a lot harder. <laughs> Uh, it's very possible that having two players makes it a lot easier. Probably. Alright, come on, bro. Face me. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> He's definitely tankier than last time, that's for sure. We got... And I don't think I'm supposed to get stuck in the corner like that. 
Ow. Actually, we haven't really taken that much damage. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's facing me. Oh shit, hang on. I think his AI is getting a little confused. Okay. <laughs> He doesn't know what to do. He's like, oh, do I go for this guy or do I go for this guy? Oh, I can, I can cheat. I can use some cheese on him. <laughs> oh, wow. Air shot for the win. That was a really good boss. <laughs> Woo! Honestly, that might be better than any of the final bosses we fought in this game. Because it Suppose. actually it actually went on for a decent length. Which is what I like in a boss. I like it when bosses go on for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Because it actually feels satisfying once you beat them. That might be a hot take, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Hey. Like, AK any AK any SMT boss. AK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now let's get a reward. Hell yeah! Finally, justice for my husband has been done. Thank you, my lord. Take the small token of my appreciation. Woo! How how small is it? Three hundred gold. That's not very small. That's that's actually decent. Yeah, let's see if we can go buy some- oh. Oh yeah, hold on. Oh yeah, you gotta turn it to day. See, I have a patch for Paper Mario that lets you give the enemies, uh, 255 HP. Which, um, is good. It, it's- it, it could allow for longer boss fights. But the problem is, there's- there's one boss that kept breaking from it. <laughs> and, um... So, so, like, when the Goomba Bros start off the boss fight with 2 HP and you hit the Goomnut tree and the Goomnut falls on them, for some reason, the patch makes it so that it underflows, and so they go to they go from 2 HP to 255 HP, <laughs> which is really <laughs> bad. <laughs> so, I've been trying to figure out how to fix that for the past, like, week or so. <laughs> and so, just, just a funny little coding problem I've been having. And I'm contemplating on whether or not I should remove the patch or not. Oh yeah, this was this the guy that um He's having he's, he's having demon haunted nightmares and now we're gonna go in and deal with them. Oh hell yeah, Marley your in team, dude. Actually you probably should have saved before going into this. Oh hopefully there, there there is no safe one in here. Okay, this is this is actually brand new then. You know what this reminds me of? There's a PS1 game that's very similar to this, and I forgot the name of it. But it's a game where you like you go into people's dreams and there's like dungeons inside there. Hey, it's not a PS1 game, but are you thinking of like Psychonauts? Oh no, not Psychonauts, but that is another good dream-based game. <laughs> There's actually a lot of good dream games now that I think about it. <laughs> Does Mario 2 count as a good dream game? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's not really like uh it's not really the typical dream game where you're going in and out of dreams though. I guess Magic Camp from Earthbound could count as a dream as well. Yeah, but that's like a small portion of the game, isn't it? True. And it's more like uh it's more like the subconscious, not an actual dream. Yeah, I can see the um the internet is performing a lot better today. I haven't really noticed any like input delay or anything. So it seems to want to behave today. <laughs> oh see, so yeah, I'm guessing you would not be able to go to this dungeon unless you had the upward strike then. It's cause it seems built around it. Well, you needed to get the cat's gate all, so... Oh, true. But it is nice to see another dungeon built with the upper strike in mind, because you get it so late into the game. This 
speaking of Dream Team, that is a game I still want to replay, but with Brothership coming out so soon, I might have to pass on that for a while. <laughs> because I, I do have a really um, neat way that I want to replay Dream Team. How's that? Uh, so, I, I was introduced to this... Um, I, forget, I don't know what, exactly what to call it. Basically, I think it's a homebrew app for the 3DS that connects the 3DS to Citra or something and lets you use your 3DS as a controller. And it basically... I don't know, it, it's kind of weird, but it basically remedies the need for um, a capture card. Because you can just run the game on Citra, but you can use your 3DS as a controller. Also, weird-ass looking boss. <laughs> Now, this really looks like a Castlevania boss. With a whole, like, creepy, like, goth looking face. It's kind of giving me, like, Camilla vibes. Reminds me of that Where Did You Learn to Fly, good lady. Oh, yeah. Where did you learn to fly? Now you're gonna learn to die. <laughs> Where'd you learn to be a fucking asshole? <laughs> Yeah, you can only hit her when the uh, that eye in her mouth is out. Oh. Well. Hang on, I could just be funny. I'm just gonna block some shots then. I think I need to get three bullets. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna wait one more cycle. Anytime now. I did not do as much as I was hoping. <laughs> Alright, I'll, th I'll just throw this out here then. <laughs> that might help. Okay, the poison is definitely gonna help. So I'm just now noticing there's like a bunch of like cru cr like crucified people <laughs> on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely one of the weirder looking bosses. Yeah, I need that as my uh, my jingle every time I get something successful done in life. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lord. Maybe now I can finally get some rest. Please take this gold. It's the least I can do. This poor bastard. Yeah, I can't imagine what his nightmares are like from his POV. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey you can upgrade. upgrade. What do I get? Um. Oh, yeah, I have, like, pretty much all these upgraded. I think it's finally time I upgraded my stats a bit. I'll get you the knives max... later. You could max out the Serator or the potion, too. Oh, shit, yeah. I mean, honestly, the potion and servitor are already really good. I haven't. I only used like one potion in that last dungeon. The knives, though, I definitely should get upgraded because I, I do want more of those. And yep, definitely save first save of the episode. I think second save, but whatever. Yeah, I did go and save before we pop time on. Yeah. And we're already getting a lot more done than last episode. Oh wait, I don't have the oh no, I don't have the forward strike yet. Hey look, it's that guy that we became friends with in a different timeline. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're gonna kick his teeth in it in this time. <laughs> Lord Stranger, we weren't expecting you here. It's still customary to stand in the presence of your Duke Mayor. Oh, I must become lax. You'd be away you'd been away for so long. My apologies. We haven't been gone long enough to forget your manners. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember that. That's funny. Yeah, we can't really do anything with him at the moment, but dang it, he has pot armor. No fair. Yeah, it's time for the skeleton lady again. And this like time we are going to kill the skeleton. I like skeletons. Like 
Okay, what do we got in here? Nothing yet for oh, here. Oh, these are the good deeds. I didn't think. Yeah, we can't do it. Can't oh, do anything at the moment. These guys have. These guys are just like the cultists. They won't accept us unless we do enough shit. <laughs> Yeah, those are not platforms. It really looked like he'd go up there. Well, off we go, I suppose. Yeah, maybe once I, uh... I mean, I'm probably not gonna have as much free time starting tomorrow, because I am gonna be playing the Persona 3 DLC a lot. Oh, good. Or just, I am or just the answer anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I was just saying. I was just saying in general, cause like, um, <laughs> I would work on my ROM hacks some more, but uh, you know, I, I do want to play that DLC, and it, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. Especially because I've never played the answer. I think I already mentioned that a long time as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only, I mean, cause I did, I did do um. A MC route, so I have done that. So I know what that's like. I'm not really missing out on anything there. At least um, in terms of reload, because I've already experienced it. Oh uh, yeah, you might want to use your potion right around now. Oh. Yikes, risky business. Life's not exciting if you don't take at least a few risks. These are, these are literally the, the, the blocks from, like, one of the Wily stages <laughs> in Mega Man 4, where they just have four spikes on all sides. Actually, it might be... I, I don't actually remember if it's Wily stages or Cossack stages. It's one of the two, though. Die, eyeball. Yeah, that, that goes up a lot higher than I think it does. So you can cover a lot more ground with it. Oh no, the eyeball cucked me. <laughs> Dang, that was a really rude eyeball. And I could just do like that, I could just eat my eyeball and then uh... I can- I didn't really- it took me a little while to realize that you can, um, hold Y you to- You can upgrade uh, again. Ooh. Oops. I, mean, I didn't mean to save, but alright. <laughs> you know, should we grind a little bit so we can get that- buy that extra life back in Katsuki? Um... I mean, we didn't need it. We didn't need it for this dungeon last time, did we? That might be a good idea. Mm. I, don't think, I don't think we have that much left before we can get it. What was it, 600? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Alright. Six far the enemies outside. Oh, okay. That got me a bit of extra XP. Oh yeah, you can spam that. Oh yeah, why don't we just wait why don't we just head back? Because I think the enemies along the way will probably give us enough. Or that. Oh that works too. Yeah, I think we almost have enough. <laughs> Gotta love the music resetting. Bom, 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 bom. Dang. Five coins off. Finally, this lightning spell is getting some good use. Yeah, so let's just go restart with the so I can teleport us back. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I kind of forgot we could teleport. <laughs> There's that extra life. And I don't know what else we can buy in this game. I think that's it, actually. But 9G. I mean, unless there's like a secret upgrade to a spell that we already have that I don't know about. Oh no, the Shadow Men. Wait, can you well, only, can you only teleport at shrines? I think I can teleport anywhere, but we can only teleport to the shrines. Oh. 
I just wanted to go back to it because I was out of mana from using the lightning, so I wanted to restore it. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> that'd be like that'd be like if you could only use fly at Pokemon centers or something. <laughs> that'd be so dumb. Well, this would be a great dungeon for the shield. Yep, time for the annoying ass wizards. Yeah, definitely not whiz robes. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep remembering that. I have to keep. I have to keep pulling the shield back out. You already need a potion. Oh, oh. fuck! I, I didn't even pay attention. I guess that extra life is gonna come in handy after all. Yeah. Yeah, those guys do two damage to you. Oh. To be fair, I haven't so upgraded just, my health much. <laughs> so just three hits and they can kill you. And you have what? Like eight health, I think? Eight or nine? Yeah. yeah. So right. once we get the like a uh, dash forward ability, we can go and get the full final armor upgrade. Oh, good. Which, I mean, that upgrade is in this place if I remember correctly. I mean, I do remember having it at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those guys also do too. Okay, really I just, annoying. just gotta pay attention to my health then. <laughs> A bit more than I have been anyway. I don't remember these guys being this aggressive, honestly. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Do you want to leave the dungeon once we get the upgrade and go get that, or...? If we uh, run out of a lot of lives, then yeah, we can. Otherwise, I don't see a need to if we just um, have all of our lives. Oh, yeah, a lot of charge at least. Yes, yeah, so I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish my hack, but uh, it is a pretty fun experience. I've been hacking for like 10 years and it still doesn't get old. <laughs> it's just, you know, new games get more tools that are fun and easy to use. Because, you know, Paper Mario hacking was nowhere near as good as it was like six or seven years ago. It was still in like its infancy. And now it's gotten like really good because of the fact that Paper Mario itself has gotten like a decompilation. Which um I'm kind of hoping at some point that leads to, you know, like really cool things like widescreen and stuff. Just being like Damn it. Oh. Well, so much for not losing uh, a life, I guess. <laughs> That was a weird arc for that to go in. Yeah, he was aiming for me rather than you. Ah. I'm just gonna kill this guy. So he doesn't become yeah. a problem later. The upgrade's up here, I'm pretty, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, I think it's this way. There we go. Yeah, uh, the shield is so useful for killing these guys. I keep thinking by holding up, I can, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? I, I keep thinking by holding up, I can shoot the bombs upwards like it's curvy, but that doesn't work that way. <laughs> Alright, let's just kill these buggers real quick. There we go. Oh crap, hold on, I need to heal. That's good, we got the- we got the chest. 
so that's the uh the dashboard thing why does it look like a snowflake <laughs> That's just the icon of all the books until we get the, the ability itself. Oh, it holy charge. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Well, I mean, honestly, I'm feeling confident we can beat the dungeon in one go. We it, did do that last time. Yeah, I mean, it's no uh, it's no dungeon 4. I mean, if there is a lot of platforming here, too. Yeah, but I mean, by this point, you have, like, all your upgrades, so it's not that bad, really. Alright, shoot at me, bro. Why aren't you shooting at me? <laughs> wow, yeah, that, that just absolutely destroys them. <laughs> Look at all that money we can't get. Uh, yeah, that was, I could, I could have accidentally dropped into, like, a pit, if I wasn't careful. Okay, here's some more funny platforming. Oh, yeah, I, I watched that, um... That Earthbound, like, direct that you showed me a long time ago? Yeah. Oh. Kill me. <laughs> That's not good. But what about, what about the direct? Um, honestly, there wasn't all that much in there that really interested me. <laughs> or maybe, maybe I'm just like, oh. Fucking. Okay, maybe we should go back then. <laughs> Unless the boss yep. is, like, in the next room. <laughs> real quick all right you have to do like a really awkward um a really awkward stab to get up there there we go yeah i don't know maybe i'm just like not in the mood for like mother like games uh like recently <laughs> i'm not sure i didn't feel i didn't feel the same uh what do you call it I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. I guess passion, maybe? Maybe it's just because, you know, more recently there's just been a huge saturation of uh, mother-like games. <laughs> that now it's not really, like, that original to make a mother-like game anymore. really satisfying. If the boss is coming up soon, I should probably heal. Here he is. Alright. Probably on time. It shouldn't be too bad. Especially because I have three potions left. Or two left. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Mr. Nipples again. I don't, yeah, I don't remember this guy being that bad. Well, at least he's gonna be taking residual damage. Yeah, Ro just flies in place for half the battle. <laughs> he doesn't even do anything. Last heal. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Man, I picked like the perfect place to stand. <laughs> He's 
gonna die really quick now. Well, he's going after me this time. This guy is like way easier than half the bosses in this game. <laughs> Funny little eye guy is chilling there. That's definitely enough to upgrade some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I could get a max that upgrade. Look at me. Yeah. You got 10k. That's more than most people have. Alright, well... Let me go upgrade. Oh, you're still only at 7,500 for each of them. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, definitely got a health upgrade. And... Uh, I'm gonna be funny and max out the Servitor. There we go. Increase I'm in explosion rate. Yeah, you get more of them, which is nice. Yeah, you get an extra high and they deal more damage. So, sweet. More eyes. Okay, so now let's go deal with that skeleton. I ask Mr. Bones is here. Actually, wait, is there something in here at the moment? Oh. Okay, off to the skelly. Wrong house, he man. Where are you, Mr. Bones? I mean, there are bones here. <laughs> they hate the axe throwing skeletons. <laughs> I hate the spear throwing skeletons. Hold up, a good reason to hate them now. <laughs> Yeah, especially with shit like that gonna happen. I think that might have been the most embarrassing blunder this whole, whole, <laughs> whole playthrough. Nope, that, <laughs> make that the most embarrassing blunder of this playthrough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately surpassed it. Good thing we saved. Like four deaths back to back, damn. <laughs> that was the most... <laughs> We are not the sharpest tools in the shed. <laughs> no. No matter no matter Smash Mouth All Star can save this one. Yeah, screw you in particular, skeleton. These aren't the skeletons you're looking for. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat that there. Uh oh. Bro, why did I respawn all the way over here, dude? I don't know. <laughs> Game's weird. Why couldn't you just respawn me over there? <laughs> I guess those three lives did come in handy after all. Yo, the bird up spell is actually doing good. I didn't realize it can attack enemies. I thought it was just for hitting switches. <laughs> the attack enemies thing is the main purpose. Oh. Huh. So it's kind of like the uh, the wasp power, or no, the hornet uh, from Mega Man 9, where it grabs power ups and stuff. 
I always love power-ups that have, like, secondary effects. You know, it's like, this thing attacks, but it can also grab stuff. Or, oh, it can also go through walls. Yeah, that's why I like Mega Man and base so much, because all the weapons in that game have, like, a fun gimmick to them that make them stand out. Hey, skeleton. Alright, well, we're, you sorry, Mr. Skeleton. You gotta die this time. Yeah, because we know you're an asshole. <laughs> yep. Nah, He-Man. And his brother did not like that. <laughs> He set, he set the place on fire. Oh wow. There's an entire like place to escape. I mean honestly I can just damage boost through the most of this fire. So are we gonna have to fight him then? Yeah, well, yes. Uh, you remember that wizard that had the two skeletons tortured to give us an upgrade to the bird spell? Uh, oh yeah, I think so. Well, he'll be wait waiting here for us. Gotcha. So at least that's something that's consistent with the bad guy playthrough. Yeah, but sorry, the house got kind of burnt down. <laughs> 300 more bucks that I probably don't need. Yeah, let's go take a look at the mausoleum real quick. If there's something in here. Oh yeah, because we're, we're not going to be douchebags this time. I just wanted to ask, is it okay if you can have a tab open for me on the user computer? Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah. Never mind then. Yeah. See. Hey, don't worry, guys. We're not going to destroy it this time. <laughs> it sounds like... It sounds like game over music. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It, it sounds like one of those, like, games where you get a game over and it's like, Hey, man, you kind of fucked up, but do you want to give it one more try? <laughs> Like a, okay, it's like a continue screen then. So like Mother 3's game over screen? Yeah. Well, I had Earthbound Beginnings in mind, actually, but all the Mother games work for that. Good sir. I believe the cult is planning to destroy our holy relic. I suspect they'll strike when the sun is up, as it's too crowded during the night. Can you help? Go to the mausoleum at high noon. Only you can help us defend the relic. We are so few. Well, when's noon, according to you guys? <laughs> Just during the day. Oh, okay. It's high noon. Alright, so we're I around swear. the street. There's gonna be some douchebags in front of the building. It looks fine to me. What are you doing here, priest? You'll, you need to leave. Cultists are planning to attack the relic. Oh lord, I must say to you, you're in danger. Get out! <laughs> oh. And he's dead. Goon. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. Yeah, this is the guy that's beside the mayor. Once the relic is gone, our plan and you unhindered. Just say your plan's hindered. Hey, wait. Why are they here? No matter. End up. Alright, you know what that means? Yeet. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Keep the relic safe. Now yeah, we're clearing that with the mayor, her little guard. Well, let's go pay him a visit, shall we? Alright, he's gonna be like, he's like, what the fuck, bro? You killed my goon? How dare you kill my goon? Actually, wait a second, let's look in here real quick. So nothing. <laughs> there, actually, right, let's see real quick. Uh, back to the barracks. <laughs> 
And then we'll go pay, pay the mayor a visit. Alright, I'll see if we've done enough good deeds yet. What? The mayor's lack of kill priest? No more stranger, let's pay our mayor a visit. Oh, okay, now we're gonna go see him. <laughs> Oops, wrong house. Yeah, the, pre the, 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 the mayor lives in this little dinky house. And another innocent person dead. Yeah, that was the husband and wife that we murdered for her to summon a demon in the last playthrough. Dang, so they die either way. That's t that's too bad. Yeah. Stop right there. Oh. I can just imagine him making, like, the Zoidberg running noise <laughs> as he runs away. <laughs> They're coming for me. Help me. Protect me. Please. Nope. <laughs> what were you expecting? <laughs> no. You have nowhere to go, Edgar. Darts, sees this man. Dang, I can't believe the priest betrayed him. <laughs> can't believe the cultists betrayed them. It would have guessed. Wait, did I, did, I, did, I, did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, you said priest. <laughs> oh, the pre I meant the cultists. <laughs> Edgar, Mayor Katsky, you stand accused of conspiracy against your own village, resulting in the death of the priest and an assassination attempt on the Duke of Abel. Finally, for the heinous and cold-blooded murders of Timothy and Jamal Katsky, you are sentenced to death by hanging. Do you have any last words? Please, no. Have mercy. I'll do it again. <laughs> Strangers not having it. Executioner, proceed. Justice has been done. Well, that's one way to do a hanging. Thanks for all your help, help my lord. Things turn out to be more dire than expected. Yeah, we did it. We did good things. But not enough good things. Wait, is there any difference with if we do like the slightly good route? <laughs> sure. Is there any difference if we do like the slightly good route instead of the full good route? Uh, yeah, there is a different ending for that. Is it anything noteworthy though? <laughs> uh, we'll have to fight Belphegor again. Yeah. I'm guessing it's just like a slightly different, like, crawl at the end where it's like, oh! <laughs> there will be a different there will be a different ending, but we will have to- the end game will be the same. Okay. It'll probably just say some shit like, oh, Lord Jordan did good, and he's going home now. Well, I guess it's Lord Stranger in this case. Uh, he actually, uh, per perishes after her the fight with Belphegor, and he gets martyred. So, in, the, um, in, the slightly, in, in the slightly good route? Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. That seems like something that would happen in the bad guy route. Well, there is a route like that if you decide to go to join the cult, but then do as many good deeds as possible afterwards. Wait, there's another ending for that? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Anyway, uh, if you have an upgrade for it, ready? Oh, my bad. Um, dang. I'm like, <laughs> like 25 short from getting the last potion. Oh well. More daggers is nice. Okay, let's see. Is there anything we can do in the mausoleum now, or can we, or are we just supposed to head off to Kajanto? I'm not okay with anywhere. <laughs> It'll say some shit like, Lord Doran has become a cultist, but he is a good cultist. The end. <laughs> I think it's more like his little redemption, I guess. Oh, uh, he's like, you may have become a cultist, but you can actually have a good heart. <laughs> well, uh, if I recall correctly, he still dies, but his soul ends up get, get, getting carried off by angels. Bro, with all these endings and you dying. <laughs> Sorry, you are dead because you got a slightly different ending. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just supposed to head off to Kajando now. Hey, Jules. Alright, to Kajanto we go, which I'm definitely not going to get mixed up with Kanto and Johto being a combined into one. Jay, hold on, uh, let's check this place out real quick. 
You have not done enough good deeds. Come back later. <laughs> God yeah, damn it. it. Yeah. I was joking. Come on. <laughs> what if you wanted to go to heaven, but God said, you need to do more good deeds. Come back later. <laughs> This is gonna be the whole meme of this fucking series, is people not accepting us because we haven't done enough shit. Oh, right, there. Hello. Okay, I guess we'll be taking care of this first. Wait, did we do this before? Uh, yeah, this is the possessed man thing and the creepy guy whipping himself. Oh, but this time we're gonna actually do good, right? Intentionally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, not intentionally. So, I mean, this is relatively unchanged. Yellow had to take care of it. Yeah, don't, 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 don't attack the guy. <laughs> Wait, did something bad actually happen? And, yeah. Oh. You, you can't kill him. Oh. That's weird, considering most NPCs are usually immune to it. I was just messing around. Yeah, that's the evil rock for it. Oh. <laughs> Almost accidentally became evil. Well, I'm pretty sure all that would have done is that we would have been locked out of the secret ending. Oh, well, I want the secret ending. Because I think you have to do this bit with Gregor or else he won't do it. Yeah, this seems to be a pretty, uh, a pretty important one for, um, getting, like, either the fully sided ending. Oh, we have not been over here yet, surprisingly. We have not been here yet. I mean, this isn't this is close to where we fought the werewolf. All right, yeah, that's that up right in that area. No, that's right up ahead. Okay, so yeah, it's right here. Yeah, Gregor is just below. Ah. So first, we gotta deal with the wolf man. That's put this poor first schmuck out of his misery. Yep. <laughs> Don't you guys just hate it when you accidentally become evil? <laughs> I know I do. I'm a wolf, bitch. He looks more like yes. a he looks more like a monkey when he's transforming, though. <laughs> Uh, hate to interrupt thoughts, but mom wants me to bring some boxes downstairs. I'll be real quick. Alrighty. Alright. Yeah, sorry about that. No big deal. Alright, it's time to fight a wolf. Hey, he's way more aggressive than I remember. <laughs> Are we saying that about a lot of the bosses? Never mind, he's dead. We're not a lot of health, though. Thank you for freeing me from my torment of my dying breath. I shall open the way. I shall show you the way. Wow, an 1100 experience. Again. Well, you can you can upgrade something now. <laughs> hey. I got knocked down here. Thank God it teleports us here. Here and then I would have had enough magic to make it back. So this is basically the same. He's getting the tomato sucked out of him. Like the ghost tomatoes. Thank the heavens, you are alive. Our savior's work is done. I'll be on my way. I must cleanse myself. Thank you, Gregor. Come find me at my chapel, Lord Stranger. There are matters we should discuss. Did we discuss yeah. with him last time? No. 
Yeah, if that's related to the secret ending thing, we'll, we'll take okay, care of that later. So that's new. In my mind, I heard his name over and over. Azazel. Oh, that's a name I've heard a few times. <laughs> yeah, I forget what exactly he is. Hmm. I mean, obviously, I know it's a demon that shows up in SMT and maybe Castlevania. But, uh, I don't remember what he looks like, honestly. The only SMT game I remember Azazel being in is, like, Persona 1. All things. That might be it, then. That might be where I remember it from. Oh, wait, maybe he's in Persona 2, actually. Is he? I'm not sure. Hold on, let me look that up real quick. <laughs> yes, I, I need to know. This is for my own sanity. I could have I sworn I remember Azazel being a thing in Persona 2. Either an innocent sin, eternal punishment, or both. Oh, wait, never mind. I think I was thinking of something else. Oh. But, but yeah, uh, he's... Hmm. Okay, yeah, he, he is in Persona 2. He's apparently a boss in the Tatsuya scenario. Oh, maybe that's where I remember it from. So, I think I would. Let me look at this. Is that the only time he shows up? Uh, no, I, he, he's also. He's actually shows up in a lot of other games, and I think I was thinking of something else in regards to Persona 1. Yeah, because I, I haven't played Persona 1 yet, so I can't say for sure. I think most people rec would recognize him because of his soul hackers design, this big re red guy with uh, a pod piece that is a giant bat. Oh, I want to see. <laughs> you can look at it if Okay, I'll have a look. Uh, let's go to the Megami Tensei wiki real quick. Azazel. Ah oh, yes, I love how I go to the page and the first thing I see is Ren Mamma Mia. Soul Hackers, Soul Hackers 2. <laughs> Technically he's in P5. <laughs> Just yeah, under the name. Yeah, I was thinking of Azrael in Persona 1, not Azazel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. Let's see. Uh, Persona 2, Eternal Punishment. Yes, I do remember him. He's, um... He shows up, I think... Encounter. I think he shows up in the final dungeon. I think you find him in the Monado Mandala. That's probably where I know him from. Yeah, now apparently, he's in, yeah. apparently he's in the Tatsuya scenario stuff. Yeah, because ta in Tatsuya's scenario, you go to, like, a lookalike of the Monado Mandala. I think it's called the Kadoth Mandala. Which is basically just a reskin of the final dungeon, but it's, like, a different color. It's, it's kind of lame for a final dungeon. Then again, Tatsuya's scenario is just kind of weird in general. It's like probably one yeah, of the don't... weirdest things I've played. Don't you meet, like, a talking cat from the H.P. Lovecraft store for using it or something? Yes, you do. You meet a cat. <laughs> and, um... I don't know, just the weird the weird thing about Tatsuya's scenario is it does that weird it does that weird budget thing that I see some games do where it's like 90% dialogue and it gets really descriptive for no reason. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 does that too with the snake tail side mode where like in between levels instead of actual cutscenes, you get like you know, like three like paragraphs of dialogue <laughs> with no voice lines or anything. It's basically just like the budget, the budget way to like do a side mode <laughs> instead of like actually like hiring the cast and like mocap team and animation studio and stuff. Because like this is a side mode for a re-release. Why would we want to like do all that shit again when we're like in the middle of making Snake Eater? <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, they're and now they're making Snake Eater again, for the third time. Actually, fourth time. They've made Snake Eater four times. Can you believe that? Oh, it's Hans. Oh, I forgot. He, I didn't know he looked at I'm here, stranger. They're literally right below one of the cultists, baby. You idiot. <laughs> no, definitely. Def just, just taking a vacation. We're probably not the smartest place you could have gone, but oh well. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, oh yeah, we got a boss fight coming up, don't we? 
kill it in time. Very my lord, it's a clever ruse. It's the big dick bones, man. And he's got shock waves. It'd be, it'd be funny if this was like the big bully boss where you gotta knock him off into the pit. How dare you dodge my knives. It's like that line in Mario RPG where he's like, how dare you dodge the barrel. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is just a reskin of like the skeleton boss from the start of the game. Yeah, considering how easy he is. Thank you for helping me. Let me repay the kindness. The spell may be useful to you on your travels. So this time he actually um he actually gives it to us willingly instead of uh it being unconsented. Yeah, and also the spell itself is different. Oh, we got doves. We now summon two doves. Damn. Reminds me of Maria from Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, uh, as I was saying, I, I just realized... Oh, out. I couldn't see because of the camera, bro. <laughs> but, um, I realized they've re-released Metal Gear Solid 3, like, five different times. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have the subsistence release... The HD collection, the um, 3DS version, and now the Delta version. <laughs> and I'll be right back. And dog loves food. Alrighty. All right, we're back. And yeah, you have an upgrade available too. Oh, nice. I can. Uh, ooh, I can get the potions maxed out now. So just one more good level up. Actually, uh, do you want to go get the uh, armor upgrade before we head into this? And we have to go to the, um, the water dungeon for that? Yeah. We can do that, since we have a teleporter for here now. Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wow, just barely. Oh yeah, so I, uh, I realized something very random today about my uh, capture card. But, but um, as it turns out, the uh, the game capture like program that I use to um like look at my games from my capture card, it's actually not that great because I compare it to the actual what it's actually outputting. And, like, the program itself is, like, actually kind of blurry, and it, it, like, makes the colors look a little weird. I never noticed it until, like, recently. Yeah, I forget where exactly we're supposed to go, because I know there's, like, a bunch of keys in here. I think we need to go down. Didn't we go down last time? And that was where the key was? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, wait, do we have to go to the side point in this place, or...? Mm. Oh, I, think I, guess I, no harm. I think I need to go this way. If there's one dungeon I remember, it's this one. So I do see and I remember we went the wrong way. Oh. Damn, okay, bye. <laughs> bye, skeleton. Or that was, that was a knight, not a skeleton. For once, that knockback is actually coming in handy. Yeah. Uh, you should go against the wolf. Okay. Yeet. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. Aw. Oh, kind of missed my jump there. Thank God it spawned me there, not on the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> that was really dumb, dumb when I did it last time. Whoops. I didn't realize there was a pit there.
the yeah. addition all the hitbacks to the entrance after this. Yeah, yeah. You can, it, it's, it's not too it's not too far from the entrance anyway. It's weird. It looks like you can duck under that, but you can't. Whatever. Oh shit! I didn't realize I was so close to dying. <laughs> Why did it spawn you in the spikes? Yeah, that was weird. Very uh, very inappropriate of you, game. Yeah, now we should definitely go to the start. <laughs> At the very least, I don't die in three hits anymore. I die in four hits. Which is more than I can say for uh, most of the other times. Yeah, but I recently, uh, I recently, recently changed the refresh rate on my monitor today because for some reason it was stuck at like a really awkward 59.94, which um, I think was kind of messing up like a lot of the display sometimes because, you know, having a refresh rate lower than 60 is not very good, obviously. Not that I'm very good with refresh rates, though. But I, I've noticed recently, like, whenever I full screen stuff, um, like, sometimes I get these weird, like, dead pixels. And I think that might have to do with the fact that I'm not, like, displaying with a 59 refresh rate. To, yeah, only you get to pray. I'm gonna just sit here and do my own thing. I'm not risk dying from that pit. You know, like like that. This <laughs> is that that exact thing is what I was hoping would not happen to me. <laughs> there we go. That one is kind of strict. You have to be surprisingly precise on that. Honestly, I'm wondering when uh, you and me should play Mario Party again, because you haven't gotten the chance to do it recently. Just because whenever whenever uh, all my friends are free, it happens to be on the days that you're working. <laughs> so I could never find out like when's a good time to actually play Mario Party. And I guess, like, you know, that kind of just begs the question on, like, um, who could I find on, like, Sundays or Mondays? Actually, Sundays wouldn't be that bad, honestly, because you, you still, you're still free on Sundays, right? Yeah. So, Mario Parties on Sundays wouldn't be the worst idea, actually. Oh, yeah, and then we get this boss, which is pretty easy. More like a mini boss. Oh yeah, the boss that looks like that looks a little bit like Jiren from Dragon Ball, <laughs> except a different face. And he has funny tentacle appendages. Kind of kicking the shit out of me, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't jump so much. This is the one boss yeah. I've actually had to use my potions on. If you haven't noticed, uh, he only gets hurt. He can only be hurt when he has like his. Like that, when he has those things sticking out of him. Oh, when he has the purple stuff. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, when a bunch of his uh, parasite things are sticking out of him. Ah. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Why he's taking a long time to die. Yeah, plus he was just not very interested in attacking for doing that for a bit. There we go. Damn, I used like three potions on that fight. Get Earl Boros. 
purple everywhere. The Kool-Aid is just not good, man. Resident Evil 5 joke. Oh, shit. Why didn't I catch that? I played Resident Evil 5. Have you? Yeah, I played I played RE5 last year. And I played oh. I got I got to play it co-op, which is like the best way to experience it. Nice. I'm actually well well Zach wants me to play it again with him this year, but this time we're gonna do like the DLC maps or whatever. What am I wearing? Um that I don't know. Oh, the just some tubby king medieval armor. Fit for a king, baby. That kind of reminds me of, uh, that kind of gives me Duke Nukem vibes. Where he's like, hail to the king, baby. <laughs> I don't think it's a Duke Nukem reference, though. Oh, oh. you can upgrade again. Wow. <laughs> like a wild guess what, need, what I can upgrade. <laughs> now it's just your health and damage for you to do. Yep. Except I have a lot I have a lot more to upgrade when it comes to that. And do you want me to do some grinding off screen again after we're done with this dungeon? Um I don't know, I may have you want. I'm not saying there won't be to. much of anything left to do afterwards, so <laughs> I mean we didn't really struggle that much, did we? Plus I think it'd be nice to have a bit of a challenge for once. Oh, trust me, even with max out stats, the last bit of a good route is going to be a challenge. If just because of how long it's going to go on. Oh, well, good. <laughs> I mean, considering the only challenging part of this game is, like, the first and third dungeon. <laughs> That's, like, the only two challenging parts about this game. Oops. Kind of didn't realize you can overshoot that. There we go. Well, if we lose too many lives, we can always go back. Okay, apparently I can, uh... Man, this block's in a really bad spot. Um, I might have to do some... I might have to do some funny trickery here. Or you could just... Or you could just drop fall... Drop it dead. Probably yeah. should have used the, uh, up a hop stat, upward strike thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, at least it teleported me. Okay, we're definitely leaving then, because I made a lot of stupid mistakes. Honestly, I forgot I had the upward stab. <laughs> I got so used to the horizontal one. At least these guys give good XP. And good money. We can get more money, Joker. Oh, well, hey, there's the key right there. One of them, anyway. I don't know, it's just, for some reason, it's really fun to be reckless in this game. Even though it's not a good idea. Fun, dude, there's another thing down here. Okay. Good right, thing those only right. deal one damage. Well, before I think they did either one or two, depending on like the circumstances. Maybe they maybe they do maybe they do one point five with, with the last armor. Oh look, it's a more annoying version of the axe skeleton. Very hell fetuses are here. Oh yeah, the guys that look like they came straight out of Silent Hill One. I mean, they really do look like Silent Hill enemies. Jesus, there's so much shit going on. Thank God for the heal. See, it's, ti it's times like these, I really wish we had an escape rope spell. That would be particularly useful. Even if it seems extremely situational. Oh wow, the upper stab instantly killed that guy. Well, he was already damaged. Oh. Is it okay? 
Mm -hmm. And the knockback on my attacks feels like a problem most of the time rather than helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh... That's the Infernax experience. Well, at least we're out of the shitty room. Well, isn't it just this and then, like, that big guy, and then we're back at the entrance already? Yeah. Be careful not to fall in the green Kool-Aid. I'm guessing it's supposed to be, like, acid or something. Yeah. It's like acid, man. I mean, Capcom's pretty much re-released almost every single Mega Man game. They have no excuse not to make a new one now. I think the only thing we're missing is Legends and Star Force. <laughs> and they've also re-released all the Ace Attorney games, too. So now they have no excuse not to make a new Ace Attorney game as well. <laughs> and no, I'm not counting the Professor Lane crossover. That doesn't count. <laughs> Even wasn't though, that great? Wasn't that great Ace Attorney thing though? Yeah, that came that that came out like a few years ago. I own them on Steam, <laughs> and it's great because those were never released into English. Same for Ace Attorney. Uh, oops, let me just refresh. And I mean, Ace, Ace Attorney Investigations Two was also never in English, so we just got like three Ace Attorney localizations in the span of a few years. So that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Your chest. It's on your chest. <laughs> the, only, the only other thing I can think of is, uh, I don't know. Um, maybe there's some other Ace Attorney game that I'm forgetting. Maybe put the GBA games on Switch Online or something for shits and giggles. Because I don't think the GBA versions have ever been re-released. Not that you'd want that. I don't think anybody is actually going out of their way to play the um in the D the GBA versions of the Ace Attorney games. Especially because there's no English versions of those. You know what these guys kinda remind me of? They kinda remind me of the uh the last palace from Zelda 2, where like the chicken enemies are just like you know, like way stronger versions of like or enemies from earlier in the game. <laughs> Actually, I, don't, I don't think they're supposed to be chickens, but I, I like calling them chickens after that one GDQ uh, speedrun that I saw, where they called them chickens. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Like they're just they're just they're just supposed to be like falcons or birds or something. <laughs> but nah man, chickens is the way to go. I mean, why have an eagle when you can have a rooster? Oh uh, yeah, remember how there's that one room in this place that's absolutely crawling in the hell fetuses? Oh boy, that'll be fun. I think that's the one that has the upgrade of this place. Oh, poop. Well, I can tell you what, this room's crawling with annoying shit. Honestly, I might, yeah. as, well, might as well just damage boost through all this. And get free money! Yusuke would be proud. Oh man, screw this, I'm healing, dude. Okay, he healed for me. I need to heal too. <laughs> yeah, my heal my heals are only useful when I'm like actually eating shit. <laughs> Cause most of the time we usually take like equal damage. Uh wait, are there pounds here or This seems yeah, like I the right they'll... way to go. Yeah, we do we do need the upgrade of this place so we can get that last side quest taken care of. Alright. The one with the possessed husband back in, in Darsov. Ooh, I just made this a lot harder for you. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully there's no like, oh, bro, really? Like that barely, that barely even seemed like I fell. Is this the room? Hey, 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 guess what? It's another reskin of the skeleton boss. <laughs> Except yeah. this time he's a knight. So they reused that boss like three times. That's crazy. Oh, I will admit, it is a pretty clever reskin. I just don't say he's like covered in mushrooms and stuff. Hmm, that's cool. Maybe he's filled with despair, I don't know. <laughs> also, uh, I think we need to go back. I think the heap upgrade was the other way. Is there nothing to the right? I'm pretty sure that's the correct way to go, but we need the upgrade, so... Oh. Okay. Well, if I die or something, we can always go back to the entrance then. Worst case scenario, at least. Yeah, I did download, um, I did get Game Pass on my Xbox, because apparently if you have a, a give Game Pass, you can get the answer for free. Which is, uh, really nice. I mean, that's how I played Persona 3 Reload to begin with, you know? And since Game Pass is only, like, 22, it's like 25 bucks Canadian per month. If you just if you just play Persona 3 Reload for like a month straight, you can beat it and only have to pay like 25 bucks. <laughs> yeah, here's the hell Phoenix for Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, yeah, that, that was a that was a good save. And you're out of MP, so maybe we should go back. Yeah. So I'm paying another 25 bucks to get to play the answer for a month. So, essentially, I'm paying 50 bucks for Persona 3 Reload, which is still a good deal, considering it's 90 bucks normally. Yeah. I just make a run for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... If I die, if gonna... I die then whatever, we're going back to the entrance anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna damage boost, I don't care. Okay, maybe, maybe I should care now. <laughs> Mr. I. Mr. Reed. I got so many arrows. That's, and I can't even do anything with these either. Yeah, if I get hit one more time, I might heal. Never mind, you got yeah, you got more MP. That's right. Dang, it actually takes quite a while to get back to the entrance. Yep, don't mind me, guys. I'm just coming through. Worst, worst case scenario. I can just, um, you know, use my potions. Which I have three of. Or I could die. I hate how they always kill me mid-drink. <laughs> like, I'm in the middle of drinking and they say, nah, we're gonna kill you, buddy. Alright, well, we should be able to get back, no problem. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not possible to overshoot that, like it is with the other one. Hmm. Honestly, I should start making Sundays more eventful again. Because, uh, usually Sundays are just like my day off now, because, you know, not everybody is free on Sundays. But I'm thinking, you know, if I can get the right people, you know, to hang out on a Sunday, we could probably do something interesting like we used to, like with Mario 64 and stuff. We could do like Mario Party, or we could do, um, I still, we still need to finish up newer Super Mario Bros. <laughs> bet, you for, bet you forgot we were doing that game. <laughs> I thought you guys had finished that. Oh uh, no, we, we took a long ass hiatus from that game. So we have not finished it yet. 
we're we're still up around the same place we were last time. Like I think we finished. Oh, forgot this guy's bad. What happened? Oh, thank you for saving me, my lord. Actually, what is he gonna give me you now since we I don't have potions? Hmm. <laughs> you got ten hundred G. Oh my god, I was joking, bro. Yeah, like 250 gold or something. That's funny. Oh, 2,000. I probably should have looked at how much we had before. Oh, you can upgrade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some grinding off screen after we're done with this. Yeah, your guy still needs a lot of levels. Alright, well... As do you. Yeah, I'm only five and four. So last time I checked, we were in like World 7 in newer Super Mario Bros. Wii. And we've only done World A and B, so there's still like five or six worlds in that game to do. Even though the letter worlds are pretty short, they only take like, you know, an hour to beat. But they're still pretty cool and fun. And I was thinking, like, maybe, since I know you're pretty, like, down for newer, if I can get, like, Seb and maybe some other fourth person, um, maybe we can, like, actually do that on Sundays if I can't do it on Saturdays. Because I wanted to do it last Saturday, but uh, nobody showed up. Well, everybody was busy, rather, and I was also sick, so it was just not really a good day. Actually, no, that was Friday, I think. Not, not not Saturday. Actually, yeah, it was Saturday. I played Paper Jam on Friday. Which, uh... <laughs> you want to know the crazy thing? I actually 100% in Paper Jam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> which is, like, one of my stupidest achievements ever. Because Paper Jam is such a weird game, the 100%. Why is that? Well, because, um... Like, it has a surprising amount of stuff to do in it. Like, you have to get, like, every block. You have to find every toad, every bean, every, um, item patch. You have to do all of the expert challenges. And you have to spend all of your expert challenge points on, uh, items. And I did all of that. <laughs> Even though, and it was very tedious to do. Are you trying to throw in a bomb at that thing? Uh, blo bombs don't work, I guess. I could probably get in there with a well-timed jump. There we go. Oh yeah, you can actually do the upper strike from the ground, so that probably would have made it a lot easier. Uh, what is bro doing? <laughs> I think it's because I got over here because of my shotgun blast, I'm stuck. Oh. Like, I can't move. <laughs> that is really weird. Hey, Infernax crew, we found a new bug for you to fix. <laughs> I mean, I doubt they're gonna be patching this game anytime soon. They're probably already working on their next game or whatever. I mean, you never know. I I've heard of weirder- I've heard of weirder patch stories, you know? Some games get patched like 10 years after release. <laughs> and some games get patched just to remove a feature. You know, I'm thinking- I'm looking at you, Nintendo. It's such a Nintendo thing. It's like, hey, well, this is the 1.17 update. We're removing one feature from the game that no longer exists. Uh, when has that happened? Uh, mostly like yeah. Miiverse functionality and stuff. I think the funniest, I think one of the funniest examples is like... Uh, well, I think the stupidest example is the Smash Ultimate uh, DLC. Or not DLC, the Smash Ultimate updates. I still have like a resentment towards 13.02 because literally all it did was add Sora Amiibo functionality. <laughs> It was like the stupidest update ever. Also, I'm gonna see if I can make this with an upward stab. 
Nope. Okay. It was worth a try. Alright, let's not walk off this time. Let's actually, like, jump on it properly. I think the problem was you walked into the spike trap and you got knocked, knocked back or something. Something like that. And, like, I, like, my hitbox was, like, I was walking into the spike. Like, the very top of the spike. Yay, more babies! And I'm just gonna say sayonara. Thanks for getting a cheap shot on me when I was going into the pit. Hmm. Actually, that's a good question. Can I? I wonder if I can grab that sword that that guy throws. I don't know. Guess we'll never find out. Oh yeah, you're at MP. Guess it was a good thing I healed. If you might want to keep speaking of healing, you might want to do that. Alright. At least he didn't hit me mid drink again. Like one of the most annoying things. Mid drink. <laughs> like that's, that's just a that's a new like phrase I thought of. Mid drink. <laughs> Okay. Okay, as rail time. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Big funny fish thing. Oh yeah, the boss where my uh, servitor isn't that actually that useful. It's like sometimes useful. Yeah, this boss, this boss fight took a lot longer um, than it, it should have last time because I was like too busy on trying to use my shield when I should have just been, you know, spamming bombs. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a lot, a lot of health, probably because of how long it takes for him to be vulnerable. Yeah. I hate bosses that do that. Well, I'm curious how this boss fight would have gone if I had the arrows, so... You'd probably just be sniping in the tongue a bunch. <laughs> probably. Yeah, look how fast that thing goes now. Yeah, it looks okay. like you, you can only hit it yeah. once, and then it just goes back down immediately. I actually got saved by the knockback there, <laughs> otherwise I would have fallen in the acid. <laughs> Knockback saving you? Crazy. Yeah. It's like a 1 in 100 every time. <laughs> and it went from green Kool Aid to tomato juice. Probably do some side questy things. Unless there, I mean, how much of how much of this route is there left, actually? I think the major stuff left is to go and deal with the cult. Okay, I don't know how long that's gonna take, so we could probably do like one more side quest and call it a day. Well, let's shape right on it. Uh, let's head back to the barracks and head to. Okay, let's get head to Katsuki's barracks and see if that uh, guy in the white hide garb and the spear hat is something for us now. Oh yeah, he's gonna be like, oh, uh, you know what, I guess you have done some good deeds after all. I don't think we, there's any other quest for us to do, so I hope so. Hmm. Yep, otherwise back to IGN for more help. <laughs> I've heard report that Sir Tanker just fall upon the mercenaries made. You can ask him to send in the troops here. Oh yeah, Tanker, that guy who we absolutely destroyed last time. <laughs> and now he's our, he's one of us. Is he gonna be like hanging for the rest of the game now? <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. Hey, you have an upgrade. Uh, health I'm guessing, yep. 
increase your heart rate. Probably not a good thing. I'm gonna be one of those weird streamers who have like a heart rate monitor on the bottom left corner. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure Tanker's just over here, or maybe he's back in the barracks still. Yep. Oh yeah, he's here. <laughs> there he is. Well, I'm not a cultist this time, so... Yep. Yeah, demons. demons. I'm just gonna be cheesy. Is that what I meant to do? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we were supposed to teleport mid-fight. <laughs> uh, I hope they didn't break something. <laughs> Sir Stranger, why did you teleport mid-battle? <laughs> the cultists are getting us. Oh, it just re it good. just resets the sequence. Okay. <laughs> at least, at least, that's good, at least. That guy died again! No way! He had two lives! Yeah, I'm just gonna play the... I'm gonna play the bitch game and just spam daggers. I was wondering why you were sitting back there. Yeah, just reloading my daggers, no big deal. You fight well, my lord. Chaos will be told of our victory today. Yes! People, people of Catscare need a man over. The man we lost to the battle, we can only reinforce one town. I would advise we send our troops to Darsov since they are expecting an attack. But I will defer to your judgment. This is another ending? Eh, no, but we should reinforce Katsuki. Okay. I don't really know what happens if you decide to him you do a Darsov instead, but don't worry. <laughs> you, you get another ending for that. But anyway, while while they go we'll reinforce Katsuki, we're gonna defend Darsov. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully our troops and us all will be sufficient. Take heart. I'll be there. I'll be back. I'll see you in Darsa. I'll be able to be glad to be fighting on your side. Uh, yeah. So much now manslaughter. We're... The janitor is going to have fun with that one. Now we're going to go defend the town from another attack. More tower defense. And I'll set up great for me. Yes! Finally, you have the full power glove. I mean, Jason probably would wear a power glove, unironically. <laughs> we get to say hi to Jules again. Hell yeah. Yeah, I told you, he's the most popular character in this game. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Pul popular. Hey, hey guys, I did more good deeds. Will you accept me for uh, the real human being that I am? I, I trust you guys. I'm a good person. Yep, yep. Attack time. What was that? Sir, Darson was under attack. As expected. Or a stranger, let's go to the rampart. Onward. <laughs> More tower defense, yay! Here they come. This battle shall be a rough one. Let's stand strong. Today is not the day we fall. Go forth, or a stranger and young servile. Show them the strength of Darkseid's metal. Which inevitably means spam more daggers. Man, you know what the max up? Max armor, I'm still getting hit for two health. Damn, crazy. I don't know who gave the cultists axes, but sure are a rough bunch. Yeah, that's like there's like one more cultist and he's dead, I think. Yeah, bye. Four enemies are coming. Take position at the gate. Oh, okay. We got waves. You know what that means? More daggers. Throw the eye at them, that'll do it.
Yep, they never see it coming. Stay alert. More enemies are upon us. Regroup. Well, shit. Do I get my daggers back? Like, no, I don't. And you get to see what the gargoyles do. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, shit. No, I was about to heal, bro. I'm gonna confuse them by standing behind. Here they come again. Brace yourselves. Wow, this does this goes on for a while. Oh, big guy. And it just get back, get back. Oh shit. Drop the gate now. Impaled. He's bleeding Kool-Aid. Run away, you spyless dogs. We'll see you again soon. Congratulations on a great victory, my lord. Let us return to the garrison and discuss our counterattack. Yeah, go back to Mr. Garrison. Lord Stranger, though it pains me, there is no hope for open redemption for this heretic. We must form their hideout and their existence. Surely we cannot lose. Are you prepared for battle, my lord? Yep. Let's, let's maybe go save first before we do that. Okay. Especially since we have lost two lives, so... Man, I kind of... That's crazy. There's like, that's like two games in a row that I've seen the word heretic. <laughs> that can't be a very common word. <laughs> What's the other game you saw it from? Uh, Neptunia, of all things. <laughs> that game does have a bunch of goddesses in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Basically just people uh, who, like, defile the goddesses. I didn't know what that word meant, though, until I played that. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, what, what do you mean by that exactly? Yeah. <laughs> well, in the, well, in the context of Neptunia, a heretic is someone who doesn't believe in the goddess on the land that they were born on. Okay. But it means they believe in, like, a different goddess from a different land. <laughs> yeah, that's how a lot of people use that word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, hooray! Yeah, so, yeah. But still, I was wondering what the heck do you mean by defile in that context? Yeah, like they just don't—they just don't like believe in the goddess. <laughs> anyway, oh, whatever. Uh, let's go uh, destroy the cult. Yeah, screw the cult. It's not like I was on their team like last playthrough or anything. Wait, so we have to go to every single cult? Yeah. Oh, honestly, I think that's something we should save for the finale then. <laughs> That, that, yeah, don't worry, that's going to take a while, right? Well, I suppose. There is going to be a good bit more than just the boss fight when we head to hell next time. Hmm. Well, worst case scenario, we can always make it a longer episode if we want to finish the game next time. So, yeah, I guess next time we could destroy the call hall, go do, well, fight our way through hell, then do the secret boss thing. Or maybe we could just do the cult thing now since the secret boss... Since hell is gonna take a little while. Um, it's, let's, it's let's... long and it has a lot of. It's a pretty long for a dungeon and it has a lot of boss fights in it. Okay, let's 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 try doing some of the cults right now then. I mean, it's not like I have anything to do right now. I'm not planning to do another stream for like another hour probably anyway. I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Know, maybe maybe I'm overestimating how long the cults will take. I mean, it's just us going into a couple of whole rooms and killing everything inside. Yeah, well, it's more of just the fact that it takes a while to get to the cults. Do you have to do them in order, or does it, does it not matter? You have to do them in order. Oh. <laughs> well, that makes it even more annoying. The door has been breached. Kill the intruders. Hey, I remember you. You were that guy who said, like, you, you need to ha do more evil shit, and I won't accept you. Uh, yeah, and I forgot, we, we also have to do the, uh, the uh, little mini dungeon for the final weapon upgrade, too. Yeah, which we never did, so that'll be fun. That'll come at the end of the cult stuff, so we can do that next time as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're all white. 
How many cults did he say there were? Like four? Yeah, there's four. One in Katsuki, one in Kenja, one we just destroyed, the one in Katsuki, the one in Kenjanto, and the one in the cemetery. Alright. <laughs> hey, dude, there's another cult here. It's dangerous to go alone, my lord. Take, take this sword. Hello, hanged man. Yeah, now we can't just like go through, um, you know, Edgar's house to get to the cult easily. That'd be too easy. <laughs> too easy, piece of cake. Oh god, the knockback. That's a little further. Hell yeah, that knockback is seriously something. No way. Die eyes. So yeah, don't worry. Hell is gonna take a while, especially since I don't have potions. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's not like I can rely on having a bunch of heals to keep going for longer. Yeah, I'm gonna be carrying most of it. <laughs> Yeah, that also means we're probably gonna have to backtrack to the entrance a bunch. Ah, uh, yeah. More cultists to kill. Stranger, you're too late. The ritual is done. What are they summoning now? Oh, oh this guy again. Just a generic demon. <laughs> he tried to get away. <laughs> Yeah, I can try to run for it. Mount Kostka. I guess this is the quickest way to get there. I think so, but I might be wrong, but... They could have. You could have warped to. Uh, actually, no. There, there's no. Um, there's no thing there. I thought there was a teleporter there for some reason. I mean, this is definitely one of the easier um, bolt places to remember. Screw you, eyeball. Aww, man. I really want Screw you mind. again, eyeball. Two eyeballs, man. No, I actually want a cake from this Two thing. eyes. Click a button. I said I'm gonna click a button and get some cake. I'm gonna... What the? What? How? Hanzo, <laughs> yeah, all the places you could have gone, why there? <laughs> New vacation spot. Yo, I heard I heard swines are here. Riches to whoever brings me, me stranger's head. <laughs> stranger's head. You want the mask too, or what? All right, more f more funny demons. Oh, it's the big boy this time. Oh, let me heal. Die, monster. Get poisoned. Oh my god, he's dead. I think that's all of them. Wait, he's still alive. I'm gonna put my hand on this guy with the leader. Tell me where your leader is and he's scary or what? He's in the Cobbleton Cemetery, that won't matter. They'll never stop him. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that. 500 bucks. 
they want to do go through the platforming of the second dungeon or lead up again or do you want to just <laughs> uh nah i think i'm good <laughs> okay then we'll go to the set it up on teleport instead yeah we'll go here and i can upgrade I can upgrade my uh, power again Ooh. Mm, actually i'm getting pretty close to um i'm pretty close to max level actually I mean, if, if we're gonna do the um, the optional dungeon next time, we could prob I could probably get like an extra level in there. I'm not sure how, how long that dungeon is. What, the optional one with uh, the weapon, the max yeah. weapon. I, I imagine it's probably the same length as the uh, armor one. Just a guess. So where are we going again? Hey, yeah, you remember the hideout where we met Robert? Um, not really. Before we, before we went off the raid of Darsov? Okay, maybe? I don't know. Well, it, you'll see. It's just a bit of that. Wow, those eyeballs don't even damage me. <laughs> I have that much defense. Hmm. Makes you wonder if the health bar should be more like the Ninja Gaiden health bar, where you have like, you know, like 28 slivers of health instead of like, you know, 10. Oh yeah, this part, where we need like every single ability to get across. Including the bird up ability. Oh, we have doves now. Yeah. Yeah, there's two of them. Yeah, so the eye is... The eye... That's the last thing that eye is gonna see. <laughs> Bye. Alright, here we are. I mean, we could've just teleported here. <laughs> Oh, we had a unlocked it yet, so we did. I thought we did. No, I, just, I we forgot to do that. Ah, that will their last stand. A curse upon your stranger. A curse upon your entire bloodline. I was so close. Doesn't matter now. It's too late. You can't stop me. You can't stop it. That's enough, Robert. You've caused enough damage. Surrender. I will never surrender. DMC4 joke. Skeleton! So now the cultists can turn into skeletons. That's pretty dope. Yeah, time for just a big ol' onslaught of enemies. <laughs> More tower defense! You now that means spam daggers. Here he is. Darn, take aim. This is your last chance, Robert. Surrender now. Or nothing to me, you worms. Nothing! Well, get shot for it then. You had that coming, you scurrilous lackwit. You're making the last of them. Thank you, Lord Stranger, for cleansing the land of that filth. What's that over there? It's the question mark, question mark, question mark, of course. How could you forget? It's the Evil Dead reference. Hooray! The Evil Dead slash uh, Black Upcraft reference. With his with the Gygus face. Is this Robert's vile book? This is what he used at Urzon to summon horrors. My lord, I think you must return the there with a book and undo what he has done. So yeah, look. Oh, this is new. Yeah. Hidden Crypt. So let's just head outside and save, and then we'll take care of that and all the other stuff next time. Yep. That'll be uh, fun. Yeah. So new content. So yeah, next time we'll have that little dungeon to go through. We'll take a dive into hell, and then we'll finish off with the secret ending. Can't wait. That'll, that'll be good. 
And then, what is that? The, is that just the finale of the entire game, or what? <laughs> Unless if you like Hank and uh, other endings while most of you're beating the game, then yeah, that should be it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know what I have to say to, about finding other endings? What? <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, that was fun though. We got we got some good progress done. Woo! So yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Yeah, we went for almost two hours, so I think that's more than enough progress. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next week, and where we'll finish the game for real, and then um, might take a little break from series because I, I honestly don't know what we're gonna play after um, Infernax besides like Cuphead, I guess. Uh, I do have some other her multiplayer game games on here in my library. Yeah, like what? Uh, give me a second, and I'll sort through them. Okay. Uh, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon Two. Uh, oh, I've always wanted to play that. That'd be good for October, actually. Uh, Sonic Mania Four. Uh, I got a game recently, Wargroove, which has its own multiplayer campaign, but you can also do it single player if you want. Hmm, Wargroove sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard of that game before. It's sort of a Fire Emblem on Advanced Wars inspired game. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Haven't done enough of those on my channel, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to think about what games I could play, because I don't have a lot of multiplayer games on my end. Um, let me just look at my ROMs list real quick. Yep. There are some other multiplayer games I have, though. Um, they're not it's entirely exactly built with a hit in mind. And yeah. Plus, it, plus it require you to buy them, so. Yeah. Um, and an idea I've had, um, for a while, and I, I couldn't really figure out who I would want to play it with, but... Uh, the Mario and Luigi games you could technically do multiplayer for. Basically... Wait, what now? Well, okay, so hear me out. Uh, this is an idea that I think I got from someone else, but um, basically there's this thing that people do where they play Mario and Luigi games, but they have the second guy only press the B button. <laughs> okay, how would that work? Or, or like Parsec or something? Well, yeah, over, so basically over Parsec, uh, I would open up the emulator and then I would like map um, all of my buttons except for the B button and I, you, would just, you would just map your button to B or something. I don't know how that would work. That's something I'd have to figure out. For Superstar Saga, I know you can map like player two to a controller and it actually works, I'm pretty sure. Because the, um, the game actually had GameCube functionality with the GameCube player. And uh, if you hook up a second GameCube controller, you can actually do two-player on that game, which is pretty neat. And uh, that'd be a fun way to replay that game, but I'm not in a rush to do that anytime soon, especially because I'm going to play Brothership soon. But that's just a fun idea I had. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else there is. I have a few NES games, but none of them are really two-player, though. I'll see if I can find, like, some cool multiplayer mods for games that I've played before, though. Because that's always a good idea. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next week, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah have a good day. See ya. Went to go jack off. Alright, guys, well, thanks for watching Infernax. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And, uh, I'm gonna go bug Jose and see when he wants to do, uh, Fire Emblem Garen Quest. So, see you guys then.